so we're now closer to the abandoned boat. And it looks super cool. What's up? Hey, what's up? We're just taking a video of the boat. Dude, this thing looks wicked. Then you got the mangrove swamps here. Do you know the story behind this boat? Not just from the hurricane. Oh, it's from the hurricane? Yeah. Wow. From Hurricane Maria. Get to the back of the boat, Mia. Not, don't go along the side. We are in Santa Isabel, Puerto Rico. Looking good, Mia. Let's back it up a bit. I want to see what the back of this boat looks like. These mangroves are beautiful, but we don't want to get too close to them. You want to explore that boat? You want to try to get on that boat? boat. That boat for that from the hurricane. Oh yeah, probably. bro. We need to go backwards though. We're gonna get stuck in here, and it's not gonna be good. I think we need to get out of the mangrove swamp. Trust me on this. You don't want to be in a mangrove swamp in a kayak. Behind the Uset here in Playa Santa Isabel, and. Uh, now we're just wondering if we should board her. So we're in the mangrove and we are about to board the boat. Come on, Mia, you first. Wait, or should I boat? You want me to go first? Uh, yeah. Okay, then, excuse me. Okay, so you're just gonna put your hand here and grab this. Put your body on the boat. Get up here. Hold the handle. Looks like it's. Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's the old slideroo. This was a nice boat. All right, leave the pack paddle on the kayak. You got this. What? This is crazy, dude. Mia, look at how nice this boat is. Why would they just abandon it? I have no idea. They should have just cleaned it up. It looks perfectly fine. Here, it sit in the captain's chair. Oh, sorry. Uh, nothing. Yeah. No? no? There's nothing here. Oh, oh. Smart move. Someone broke a piece of glass in here. Look at that. Wait a sec. What's that? That's the inside of the boat. And it's completely flooded. Oh, that's why they abandoned this boat. That's why they abandoned this boat. You want to check it out? Yeah. Cool yeah, they really did. Yeah, this was a really nice boat. It's even got like a bathroom. I wonder, I wonder if there's any fish in here. Dude, look at how nice this boat is. Holy crap. Smells like pure mold up in here.
just lets ocean water in, I guess. Oops. Dad. Yeah? Oh, <laughs> make a quick escape. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so cool, Mia. This is so cool, isn't it? Yeah. This is I like... Wait, they, only, they have their own sink. wonder if it works. Nope. Wow. This has been a really amazing adventure with Mia. Mia, this has got to be one of our top adventures so far in life. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> we, we... This kind of reminds me of the Space and Rock Center because of the basement. Oh, okay. Like, like, like moldy floodedness? Not moldy floodedness. I mean, like, all the furniture. Very cool. Oh, yeah, it does look like the Space and Rocket. But, dude, that's a flat screen TV. Like a new one. No one's jacked the TV. I guess maybe it flooded and broke. Yeah. And a refrigerator is in here. But we don't we didn't bring any uh shoes for this, so we can't go in there. Yep, you gotta be safe. You wanna go check out the what I was talking about? What? What were you talking about? Oh, heck of an adventure, dude. Here, look at me. Smile. Let's take a picture together. Our first there's gas cans here. Here, uh hold on. Very cool. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this adventure of Mia and I and this boat that we found. It was really random, actually. It was so random. So random. Yo, so Mia and I have been kayaking because she's been on a kayaking adventure. And we freaking found a shipwrecked luxury boat here in Santa Isabel. It's right here in the mangroves. And you see, we just pulled up our kayak and tied it up. And uh, it's the guy who's over there, we asked him because he came by us, and he said that this boat's been here since Hurricane Maria. I mean, the thing is wild. It's such a nice boat. When we first found it, everything was closed up. I've been, I've been opening it. Like, look at the, look at this. Like, that's nice. You know that's sexy. And so, like, when I first saw it, I... You know, we opened it up, we came inside, and it was just like, wow, this is a really, really nice boat for someone to just be like, wow, you know, Hurricane Maria came. But yeah, we, we didn't see it. Uncle Hector found it first. This is kind of Uncle Hector's fault that we're here. And, and Mia, show him the door. Look what's in here. It's just screwdrivers and nuts and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> So this is the inside of the yacht. This is the bathroom. I took off the door handle when I was looking at it last time. It's got a flat screen and a fridge. Looks like they had a pretty nice <laughs> set in there too. It's all water damage now. Excuse me, yeah. I'll leave it how we found it. When this boat was taken away, it still had the keys in it. And Mia pointed that out. What'd you find? No, uh, it's just a thing. I was trying to, open. I was trying to make it work. Right <laughs> yeah, I wonder what's in the storage compartments. Just nothing. I think this boat was just like taken because this is from Fajardo. This boat claims it's from Fajardo. 
and we're in Santa Isabel. That means it jumped through a bunch of mountains to get here. It makes no sense that this thing is originally from Florida, though. Look at someone in tried to take the couch and then gave up. <laughs> Mia, I'm so proud of you, dude. The type of adventures we're going on is the type of stuff I want out of life. Oh, I didn't know there's a little door here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a trap door. You don't want to go in it. What's it? A... That means that underneath you, there's a bunch of space to fall into. Oh. Yeah. That sounds horrible. Yeah, that's how people die. Probably an engine compartment or something. Leave it at full throttle. Ooh, turn the power on. You turned everything on? <laughs> yeah. So if they ever like turn the boat on and just go and take off. <laughs> it's a nice boat. This has been such an adventure today. Yeah. I wonder how how those soda can bottles survived Hurricane Maria. Well, I can tell you we're not the first people to find this boat. <laughs> Probably a bunch of teenagers throwing a party. or and Grown men, actually. And then uh, I could tell that someone came by and stripped. You know, someone came by and stripped some stuff, but not everything. What do you mean by stripped? took off the good stuff took out valuables off the boat that when they found it you know but the boat's flooded so like there's still the flat screen tv and the and the they're still in there you ready to get back to our kayaking adventures maybe we'll find uh different stuff yep this is the name of the boat let me go first and then i'll guide you down Yeah, sit down. Um, we can't skip. Uh, it's just a mangrove swamp, and it feels disgusting to sit in a mangrove swamp. <laughs> Look at these guys, they're ready for la fiesta. It's Three Kings Day here in Puerto Rico, people. And like the Three Kings we are, we found an abandoned yacht. This is easily the coolest find so far of 2021, the best adventure we've been on so far. Thumbs up. All right, so today we're gonna be checking out this abandoned boat that Mia and I found. Uh, it's in pretty, pretty amazing condition. Yeah, will you take us towards the front of the boat? Huh? Will you take us towards the front of the boat? crazy that they abandoned this boat. It's so beautiful on the inside. It smells like mold though. It is Three Kings Day here in Puerto Rico. This boat's been here a while as you can see. But it's anchored. They don't want it stolen. It's That's very strange because uh, you're letting everyone and their mother party in it but you don't want it stolen. <laughs> All right, get us past the boat so we don't get towards the boat. This is such a beautiful shot. I'm so proud of my daughter. Dude, she's 10 years old and she found this today. And then she, she, she got here. Like, I'm just beyond impressed with her. I love you, Mia. These are all beautiful, beautiful maps. And here we are in beautiful Santa Isabel, Puerto Rico. 
Puerto Rico. What is that? Just a stick sticking out of the water with a buoy that tells you don't get near that tree in the water. Uh oh.